SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, this could impact your bill, especially, you know, being a longtime Verizon customer. Possibly you've been taking advantage of an auto pay discount. Of course, Verizon offered it. It was an excellent discount. You know, you just auto pay, right? Put a payment method on file. They directly take the payment. You don't have to worry or think about the bill and everything is fantastic and you get the discount. Well, it looks like they're reducing the discount. So this has been kind of a thing since actually a couple of months ago. We've been tracking the story and we like to continue to follow through on these things in case things change. So there originally was an auto pay discount of $10 per line for agreeing to those terms. And, you know, Verizon was happy to give it to you, right? Getting the auto payment, the, the security of it, and then customer getting the discount, obviously a symbiotic relationship. And then that was actually reduced. I think they reduced it from $10 to $5 which if you have a multi-line account, that, that really was noticeable, right? So if you were getting a $50 discount, you know, you were down to a $25 discount, which still in and of itself is, is still pretty good. But now I guess that's getting cut again on some of the older plans and some, some plans that, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's almost like you're getting $2.50 for an auto pay discount. Like why, at what point does it even matter at that point? You know, you've got, risk of data breaches these companies don't really protect our data at all and if it's a, a checking account well now your checking account is compromised that information could be on the dark web uh, amongst other issues so the, not just one but it appears now that you have two reductions in auto pay discounts and I, i'll just mention this last thing right and this is why verizon is doing it verizon is under pressure under the shareholder the investor pressure verizon doesn't really grow much with respect to the the customer base uh on this side of the business where this is going to be impactful right so like consumer postpaid phone net ads are always pretty modest compared to their competitors and verizon wants to be viewed by the investor uh, and evaluated by their investors and their their board and, and things of that nature, they want them to be viewed on, you know, free cash flows, and margins, and 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 revenue per user. Those metrics scream margins. You know what I'm saying? It's not they they don't really care to grow. They don't want unprofitable growth or anything, right? So it's they're just trying to squeeze more out of their customer base. So they continue to try to find ways to do that. And this is going to be one of those ways. They are generating a lot of money by doing this. Let's say, and we could just use a nice round number. Let's say that they have 50 million accounts that are on auto pay. I don't know how many it is. Let's say there's 50 million accounts on auto pay. And you've reduced and cut that auto pay discount in half twice. And so basically, you, you've now created $7.50 per line. Right. So on an account level, which that might be twenty dollars or twenty five dollars, I don't know, whatever it is. It's a it's a lot of money that they just generated. So this is really important to Verizon. They felt compelled to do it, like they had to do it. And now of course this makes little to no sense to have auto pay. Why would you be in a rush to put your payment on file just to get two dollars and fifty cents? It almost doesn't even matter anymore, right? It's really not that great of a discount. And, you know, you think about what this could mean from the standpoint of their competitors. We've seen AT&T playing this game. Uh, we've seen T-Mobile playing this game. And, you know, could they take another step in making another customer unfriendly move? I mean, it's very possible, right? It's a, we've, we've seen this in the industry. It's, it's a game of follow the leader or, you know, they do it, I do it kind of thing. These signals kind of seem to play out very often. Uh, but what I recommend people to do is try to find your best network experience from a flanker brand, right? So if Verizon's starting to get too pricey, it was already more expensive than the competition, you might want to start looking at their flanker brands, like looking at things like Visible, right? Visible Wireless or Total Wireless, where the pricing is going to be better and probably the margin, the separation between Verizon postpaid branded and these other prepaid brands, uh, US Mobile, 
like they it might now just be that much better right you might be paying 20 to 50 percent less by switching from verizon postpaid you know to to some prepaid or mvno brand which still relies on the verizon network this is the kind of thing that i i think could if it, you know we're talking about 25 or 30 dollars a month on an account and an account that might be even you know multiple lines could be seven lines this could be 50 dollars a month it, it could cause verizon to possibly see some additional churn because it's it's that's two changes to the auto pay discount in in very quick fashion and you know comcast sells xfinity mobile and spectrum sells you know their their mobile services uh you know the charter company those companies the pricing margins the the pricing differential now sides on them even more so i think verizon has to be careful with this uh, customers are definitely actively looking for deals and ways to save money and i know what verizon is trying to do for the sake of their company and their investors and, and their stakeholders but that's that's they, they do this very frequently and you gotta remember they're not doing anything for you to earn that extra money now if, if customers are getting something more or better out of a move it warrants kind of hanging around staying and seeing how things play out but this one uh you know it's i'm just not a fan of this in my opinion i think it's kind of tasteless to do a price increase two times to the same piece of the deal right uh at Verizon clearly has an insatiable appetite for raising prices, fees, reducing discounts, uh, responding to their, you know, they clearly have a debt load. They're trying to acquire Frontier. I mean, all these things are absolute factors. But again, I think it's kind of tasteless to then go and sit there and call this an auto pay discount. I mean, $2.50, that's nominal at best. Really start thinking about brands like Mint Mobile. Really start thinking about brands like U.S. Mobile. And, and visible and total if you need to stay on the Verizon network. But there's other options out there. I think more and more people need to shop because, you know, we're talking about your bill going up 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. What's your take, guys? Uh, if this impacts you, what are your moves? What are your options? What are you planning on doing? Well, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.